Hi, everybody. My name is Brian Bost. I am a nursing recruiter with the School of Nursing who works with the traditional four-year BSN students that are coming from high school. And I'm Gina Plocky. I work with the second degree BSN program. We are going to be taking a virtual tour of our learning and simulation center today. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we can't have visitors visiting the lab for the health and safety of our current students and faculty. So we wanted to show you around virtually so you had a good idea of what kind of experiences you'll be having here as a Duquesne student. Yes, so the second degree class typically starts in the lab pretty much right off the bat as well as clinical. And the traditional students will start in here the first semester of their sophomore year. So let's go check it out. We'll start our tour in the general simulation area. As a traditional BSN student uh, coming out of high school, you'll be getting your experiences in the learning and simulations that are starting your first semester of your sophomore year. So in the basic care area, there's a lot to still learn. These aren't the high fidelity mannequins, but there are still so many things and skills to work on. So something as simple as changing a bed with a patient in it to more complex things like hanging blood and managing arterial lines, suctioning, taking vital signs, just getting to know how to be more comfortable with caring for patients. Right now, I'm next to our birthing simulator, which the students here lovingly call Pregnant Patty. They'll be working with them, with Pregnant Patty, a lot during their maternal and newborn clinical rotation. And I'm standing in front of this isolation room, which they use more as like a critical care ICU area. But we also just wanted to point out that the lab actually has these isolation rooms so that you can experience more of a, a real experience for what these negative pressure rooms look like. Another part of the maternal and newborn clinical will be working with our sim babies. So sim babies, we have uh, low fidelity and high fidelity. High fidelity just means that they're going to be a little more lifelike and going to have some responses to the interactions that you'll be doing. Uh, these babies can simulate many different kinds of problems and issues that babies can uh, do during the birthing process and after birth. Now we are with one of our newest innovations here in our learning and simulation center, our augmented reality mannequin. And I'll let the nurse that we have here, Gina, talk a little bit about what's happening here. This is fascinating. So this guy, you can kind of see here his heart, and then you can hear some lung sounds. So when we move the stethoscope around, you can actually hear a little bit of wheezing and you can move it around and, and do a couple different things. It's pretty neat. So um, this is very real, very real experience of what it's like to listen to a patient's lung sounds, heart sounds, and very exciting technology. They had nothing like this when I went to nursing school, so this is very neat. Now we are in the high fidelity simulation room. This is going to be the most lifelike simulation that you're going to have as a BSN student here in the School of Nursing. As you can see, he is blinking his eyes at you right now. But I will go ahead and hand it off to Gina to explain a couple other things that he's doing. The simulation sim man is very lifelike. So when you're here right now, you can sort of see his chest is rising and falling with each breath. And you can also listen for heart sounds and lung sounds and belly sounds. It's a very real experience. He has veins and this mannequin actually has medication recognition capabilities, measures CPR quality, can check airways. He has tear ducts here. If you check out the monitor, um, we can actually be, be watching how he's doing with your interventions and what's happening. One of the uh, nicest things about this simulation is that it is designed to allow you to practice independently with your fellow nursing students. Your nursing instructor will likely not be in the room with you when you're performing interventions with SimMan. They're actually behind that two-way mirror there. We will be going going into that room next. So there's a lot of fun things and a lot of great things that are happening with SimMan. We collaborate with the School of Pharmacy once a year to do an escape room here. So you have to work with other healthcare students to solve interventions and to escape the room as part of one of your exams. It's a really nice, neat way that we're being creative and collaborative here in the school as well. So as promised, now we are in the control room. You can see 
Gina there taking some notes about the patient. This is where your instructor will sit during the simulation experiences in the high fidelity sim room. You can see this is where all of the programming for SimMan is taking place. It's also where you can see a microphone right there. It's hooked up to the mannequin and there's a large bank of voices that the instructors can choose from so the patient can actually be talking to you throughout the procedure as well. Welcome to the standardized patient room. You might be asking yourself what a standardized patient is. It's a live actor that our students will be working with in a controlled simulated setting. So sometimes you can work on each other practicing head to toe assessments and you come in here with an instructor. This is a fully equipped lab exam room. Sometimes students will come in here and practice medication passing. So they'll do a simulation where they practice passing medication. So let's, for instance, say your patient is allergic to penicillin, but they're ordered ampicillin. What would you do about that as the nurse? How would you go about that? We also will have wearable technologies that standard patients can wear like Avtrait where you can simulate giving a trach to a live patient without actually giving them a trach. So this is our debriefing room. This is a room that you would come into with your clinical instructor, bring your iPad, sit down, and you could kind of review your day in clinical and how your simulations went. You can actually watch a live simulation on our smart pad here. And um, our instructors can interact with you from anywhere within the lab from here. Okay, so this is a room that we actually got a grant for pediatric disability. It's kind of neat. So these are fully equipped exam rooms and it's very nice. We have this beautiful mural in here and it's just a shot of the beautiful lab that we have at Duquesne. Thank you so much for joining us for our virtual tour of the Learning and Simulation Center. I hope that you learned a lot and I hope that you are now excited at the potential of becoming a Duquesne nursing student. You're welcome to connect with us for further information about our programs and the School of Nursing at Duquesne. We hold frequent virtual group information sessions and are also available for one-on-one -on -one appointments via Zoom. Thank you all, stay safe, stay healthy, and we hope to see you soon.